A local little league is celebrating a rare feat. Churchland has three teams and boys from a fourth all competing at the state tournament. There's just one little problem. See, they never thought that all of those teams would make it that far. New at 530, taking the boys of summer to the next level. I just like the sound of baseball. The crack of the bat. <laughs> Digging in on the run. <laughs> baseball in Churchland sounds like fun. The um. feeling it makes when you get when you do good and like make a play or get a good hit. These boys have already been playing together for years. The oldest team member is now 14. Can't even remember their first time at the plate. No, but I've heard stories of my first t-ball game. I hit the ball and actually took my helmet off and then ran to first base. Matthew McEwen and Jake Tiller have grown up on the field together. Saturday, we actually have practice at 6 in the morning. And practice is paying off. These are all the 1970s, and then we have a 1983. Nowhere in the team's 59-year history have they ever sent three teams to state in the same year. It was a good fight for them to make it to this position. It wasn't easy by any means. It's a couple heart attack games, as we call it. Now those hearts are pounding in anticipation. I'm excited because in our 9-10 when we went, it was we local, didn't have a hotel. so we didn't get to go to a hotel. That kind of success comes at a cost. I totaled about $7,000 just for a minimum stay of four nights for three teams to go. Go home, go home, go home. They're hoping the community will rally behind them because their dreams go beyond state. I think we have a really good chance of winning. All the way to the World Series. Go home, man. Now there is a fundraiser happening tonight from 6 to 8 at Pelican Snowballs on Airline Boulevard in Portsmouth. The team takes home 20% of the profits.